I can just muster up enough, enough energy. There we go. So today we're going to be talking about a really weird lens and no it's not this this is my cup no it's an 800 millimeter f11 fixed meaning you can't go f22 you can't go f 6.3 or 5.6 or whatever it's fixed at f11 okay so i know what you're thinking tomas are you crazy 800 millimeters f11 how the heck are you going to be getting any crisp shots out of that. Well, I'm gonna surprise you. This guy performed amazing in low light, or maybe I should say the camera that this was put on performed amazing in low light. So that's the thing. This lens is F11, but when you pair it with a mirrorless camera like the Canon R, the Canon RP, the Canon R5, or Canon R6, those cameras can handle the low light, they can handle the high ISOs without getting too much noise, and you'll be totally fine. So the first thing I noticed when I picked up this lens is it's super, super light, okay? It's like, it's actually crazy light. In fact, it might even be lighter than this little guy. This is the, the Tamron 18 to 400 millimeter. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it might be lighter. So the material on it is like, it's a little bit more plasticky. I wouldn't say it is, plastic and maybe like a like a nice carbon fiber I don't know it's kind of hard to tell whatever the case it's like super super light it has a different feel than something that you may be more familiar with if you're a wildlife photographer say like a Tamron uh, 600 or a, a Sigma or a Canon 400 millimeter etc it's not weather sealed from what I can tell yeah it's not weather sealed now the image quality on this lens is um, the the quality is the quality is really 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 good i i could not believe the sharpness i was getting out of this lens i was shooting at like 7 p.m and it, and it was cloudy and i wasn't even getting like the that glow of golden hour and i was still getting crisp photos it didn't make any sense for me i was looking at these photos and i was thinking to myself how the, how the heck is this possible Canon pulled it off. Canon actually pulled it off. And I mean, I, I would assume they would pull it off if they would be releasing this lens. Like for example, I came across a rabbit, super low light, and I was shooting at a crazy high ISO, which I will display in the photo here. And I was I could not believe the crispness of the photo, the lack of noise. Because you're pairing this lens with a mirrorless camera that Canon designed to be able to deal with the high ISOs and low light conditions, you'll be fine. Now here's another problem that people may be thinking of. You may be thinking, Tomas, I wanna get those nice blown up backgrounds. How am I going to be able to do that at an aperture as tiny as an F11? Well, because of the laws of compression, the rules of compression, you are still going to be getting blown out photos. So if you are not sure what compression is, all compression is, is you have a lens that is a very high focal length, right? Like the 800 millimeter. Because the focal length is so high and because of how the glass, I won't say distorts, but pulls the image closer to the sensor, if that makes any sense, it's going to pull the backgrounds closer to the subject and it's gonna blow them out. That's just how compression works. That's probably a weird way of explaining it, but that's, that's what compression is. And because of compression, you can get those nice blown out shots with this lens. If you were shooting it like with like a 300 millimeter at f11 you would not be getting the shots that i'd be getting with this because this is 800 millimeters so the compression is going to be through the through the roof some other things to note you got some switches here one of the switches is it's full but then the other one that would usually be like three meters to infinity or something like that it's 20 meters to infinity so for a while i like had it switched to there without knowing it and i'm trying to take photos of these birds that were like pretty close but not that close they're like 20 feet so 
I was like shocked. I'm like, why isn't this lens focusing? Why isn't this camera focusing? And I thought maybe the, there was there was a problem with the lens or something. No, it's just it's that's just the way it's set up. So make sure that when you're shooting things that are pretty close, you have that switch to full because it's not like the other lenses that have a different customizable focal range autofocus settings. Also kind of interesting, you have to like arm the lens. So when you slap it on the body, it's gonna say, please set lens to shooting mode or please arm lens, something like that. You have to twist this and then pull it out. So now you can take pictures with it. You also have a very large focus ring, so that's pretty handy. And then you have the programmable ring that you can you know, program and, and coordinate to any setting that you may choose to have change when you twist it. So that's pretty cool. So what did I think about this lens? Yeah, I liked it. I like this lens a lot. Would I shoot with it again? I probably would. But to anyone who wants to spend $1,000 or under on a lens like this, and you wanna take photos of wildlife, you want to be able to experience how it is to take pictures with a telephoto lens, you are going to be very, very happy with this lens. I was super, super impressed. This video is brought to you by Milford Photo. Milford Photo is a licensed distributor of Canon, Tamron, Sigma, Nikon, Sony, Olympus, you name it. And they have a very, very wide selection of cameras, lenses, lighting operations. They do prints, great staff, great store. You'll love it. Definitely check it out. They have online shopping too, which is important, especially now. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow my Instagram at wild underscore new underscore England underscore. You may enjoy the photos are, that are on there. I might end up posting a photo of the fawn on my Instagram. If you guys like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Tell me to make more videos like this. That way I know I can keep showing stuff like this out. Anyway guys, I hope you have a nice cool day because it is really hot out right now. <laughs>